Joe make the right decision and keep this girl here. <laughs> Sally! <laughs> Sally, I mean, <laughs> that was just, obviously, you know, Sally was on last year. Wait, 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 I don't, I wasn't here last year. <laughs> Sally, can you tell us a story, because I have no idea. Yeah, yeah my name um, is Sally, I'm Woo! 19 years old. <laughs> And I was on um, season six of The Voice, so last year, and I was on Boy George's team. My name is Sally Skelton, and I am 19 years old from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland. Last year, I auditioned for The Voice, which was the best decision I have made. Boy George and Kelly Rowland had a bit of a fight for me. I've never pitched against you before, so just back off and sit down. I'm just gonna have to go with my gut and go with George. <laughs> I unfortunately didn't make it through the knockout round and I was stolen by Kelly Rowland. Your voice is the type of voice I can soar and I would wanna be the one to take you all the way through. Kelly Rowland giving me a second chance really lit a fire in me. Because Bo Jesse and I sung so well in our battle round, Kelly suggested that we would become a duet. This would be a remarkable duo. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, I'd be up for a, something new. It's so hard for me to say this, but I, I wouldn't be able to commit to that fully. I'm going to go with Bo Jesse. I'm back to put my voice to the test because when you have four incredible musicians telling you that you can make it through and you don't, it leaves you with a lot of unfinished business. The voice gave me a glimpse of what my life could be and I know for sure that that's worth fighting for. I'm just listening to what I heard for the first time. It was angelic, it was a beautiful performance. Thank you. I think you would be perfect for my team. Uh -huh. Absolutely perfect. <gasps> Thank and you I very will, much, Jerk. I will make sure to work really hard with you, and I won't just let you go. <laughs> Sally, <laughs> I didn't get to work with you last year. And I remember going, I am gutted that I didn't actually get to work with her. So I, all I'm going to say is that I, I know you are capable of great things on this show. I would love you to be a part of my team. I feel like you're a team Delta girl. I thought it was you. I was like, oh my God, is that you? <laughs> now listen, you know what? People come on this stage and they get a lot of smoke blown up their asses. Sorry, bums. <gasps> it's not what you need. What is that? That's not helpful. That's not helpful. What you need is to be encouraged to, to shine. It's not about saying, oh, you're amazing. You're the best thing I've ever heard. And, you know, I want to, I really want to see you shine and be confident. What have you been doing since the last show? What have you been up to? I've been writing. 
and I've been working on myself musically and my musicality and, and everything in that respect to come back and Amazing. just be a new me uh, and, and, and experiment and just enjoy it, yeah. But I really want you to choose me. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly. Because I had the most amazing time working with you and I got a chance to hear that voice every single day and it brought me so much happiness and it made me feel like I could float on a cloud. It made me feel like I could do anything. That's amazing that your voice can do that. It's amazing that a voice can do that. And I would love the opportunity to get to work with you again. And I, I, I respect my other coaches, but I know, I know this voice. I know this woman. I know where you want to go. I know where you want to be. And I want to be right there with you this time, again, from the start to finish. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Sally. I thought I had it, but then it's like, Ooh. Come on. Let's take it all the way, Sal. I'm gonna have to go with Joe. Ah! to work with you. I'm going with themes with my team. So this particular artist is one of my best friends and someone that I've known since they were a kid. So you are going with Demi Lovato songs. Hey, oh, man. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh my God. She actually sent you a little video. Holy kitty. No. Hey, Team Joe, I wanted to send you oh, some good yeah. vibes today. Best luck to you all. Oh, oh, that's so good. Demi Lovato is known for her powerful voice. And I've never been told that I have a powerful voice. So vocally, it's, it's being connected to every single lyric. Like I made it glass. Oh, yeah. Like I made it paper. This song is powerful, so connect with it. Like, mm -hmm. tell the story. Use the emotion. Yeah, I feel like emotion. last year it was so hard to tap in, and yeah. all the coaches were saying, connect, connect, connect. And so I feel like these things I can draw on. The biggest thing for me is that I know what it feels like to be eliminated. And that's not a feeling that I want to experience again. Scars are crying. I am watching. Catching teardrops in my hands. Only silence as it's ending. Like we never had a chance You can take everything I have And you can break everything I am Like I made a glass Like I made a paper And go on and try to tear me You are the winner of the knockout. Up next is Team Joe. Hello. Hey guys. Good. And his sibling trio, Homegrown. <laughs> Sisters Caitlin and Casey, and their brother Liam. Homegrown is the only group in the competition. You bring me home. And they need to show Joe they have confidence in their harmonies. Really committing to your choices vocally. That's something you guys need to work on. I bet you want to know who you're up against, right? Yeah. Do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's bring them in. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Seeing Sally walk into the room was very, very emotional. We've grown to become really good friends with Sally. So something tells me you've all become pretty close yeah. in the last <laughs> few weeks. Definitely. After every 
performance, we've come back to either one of our rooms and have just hung out and, and jammed, and it's just very, and very hard. And I promised myself last year, I was just like, I'm coming back this year, I'm not gonna make any friends, because it's so hard. <laughs> I was just overcome with emotion, because it was a massive, you know, moment of deja vu, because I also was very good mates with Bo Jesse. Sally's powerful voice took her to the same stage in the competition last year. But that was where her journey ended. It was really difficult to pair everyone up, but I honestly feel like you guys are all so great that this is what you need to make this the next step, you know? And the song I chose for the four of you is the Chain by oh, Fluid Max. Yes. <laughs> it's an aggressive song and it, it needs that emotion and it can't just be soft. Yeah. It's gotta, you gotta show the audience that you're here to stay. It's gotta be powerful. It's gotta be one of the best battles on that stage. Yeah. Sally, this is the point last year where the journey ended for you. Yeah, well last year was difficult for me because I went home and I was just frustrated. Everyone keeps saying, oh, Sally, you're old, old hand at this, but the stakes are exactly the same. It's not any different from last year. I think Sally has a lot to prove. She really does want this, and I feel like she's gonna fight hard for it. It's like post-traumatic stress, <laughs> you know? It's like, this is as far as I went, and I don't wanna... I don't want it to be the same as last year. Sally, homegrown, only one can go through, they're friends. It's a bit like the Hunger Games. It's a competition. It's intense. This is definitely gonna be the most teeth-biting moment of the show. Create the best new band ever. It was just sort of, I know you went through this last season, Sally, but I would just put you together. It was just like, <laughs> what a great band. It's like watching a really good band. Mm. The harmonies are great. I think what Joe's done with you, Homegrown, is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. Kelly, I mean, this time last year, you had to let Sally go. Joe, make the right decision and keep this girl here. Make the right decision. Thank you. I need to talk to you, Sally, because I feel like, I really felt like I'd already been a fan of Homegrown. I think you guys are wonderful. But Sally, I felt like it was sort of like you had arrived in that moment. It felt like the artist side of you is like ready to go. <laughs> Congratulations on that. I'm, I'm to the converted to Sally on that one. Thank you very much. I know, I know, I know, I know. You got it, Joe. Sally. The 
song I chose for you is Spectrum by Florence and the Machine. Oh my god, that's a big song. It's a big song. Florence has a massive voice and she is incredibly fearless. And so it kind of plants a seed of doubt in my mind because I don't know if I am fearless. Every color illuminates, we are shining. How you feel? All right. <laughs> All right. OK, so I can tell on that Say My Name line, you're thinking about it through the whole verse. I understand why Sally is nervous about it, but I know she can do it. Just relax. And just on being able to have enough breath to hit, to, to hit those notes. I'm really nervous, you know, because of what everyone's been saying online and everything, just about coming back. And when people have a lot to say about you, which is really unkind, it can bring you down a bit. I really want to show them. Yeah. that I can do it and I deserve to be here, but I just feel like this is big. <laughs> I've gone through what she's gone through when it comes to negative comments and le letting it get under your skin, which ultimately gets into your performance. I understand, look, that's none of their business, right? Yeah. Like, you showed up and you delivered. Are they on the show? Are they here, like, going to lives? <laughs> I don't think so, <laughs> Sally is, you know? Yeah. Part of this is choosing songs that are a challenge for you, right? Yeah. I want to give you something that... The challenge is... It's a challenge, but also I know you can do. I just want to do it justice. Till we let the spectrum in, say my name. And every color illuminates, oh, we are shining. And we'll never be afraid again, say You are a smart cookie, aren't you? Oh, well. Because you decided <laughs> oh, sure. not to let Sally go. <laughs> Absolutely not. Sally is a real talent. She got up there and did her thing. It was enchanting. It was haunting. Everything we planned. And she did it. This week, we, we got through a bunch of different stuff, right? I mean, you were nervous to go up there, first lives, opening the show. It's, it's a big plate to fill, but you did it, and you owned it. And I'm really proud of you. Great Thanks job. Much, Joe. Team Joe. And Team Delta. All of you are safe tonight. Yes! Hello, Sally. Hi. Sally has gone through quite the journey. The comeback queen. She sees the finish line and she wants to get there. How do you feel? 
Good, really good. I've got past like the whole believing in myself aspect and now I think I really need to hone in on performance. Last week was very hard. The first live show, it was uncharted territory for me. It was really great because you just did your thing. It was moments it got shaky, but that was just yeah. the nerves <laughs> crept in. Definitely. You had uh, your family up there. Yeah, that who was, was who was here? My boyfriend, my sister, and my mom and dad. It was really special for me to have my mom at the first live finals. She wasn't actually able to travel the previous rounds. She was diagnosed with breast cancer six months ago, so she was undergoing chemo, which was tough to be away. I, I can relate. My dad just got through chemo. Yeah. And so it's something that. I've been in the same situation where you want to be there for them. You just can't help but feel helpless and you can't do much for them, but just be there. So I picked Fix You by Coldplay. For us as musicians and as artists, we have this tool of music to express ourselves. I feel like this song is going to be really special this week. I would love for you to be able to tap into that emotion. Yeah. This can be a song for your mom. It can be a fight song for your mom. This song now, it takes on a whole new life for me. This song is so special because it's talking about no matter what, I will be there for you and I will try and fix you in whatever way I can. When you try this, but you don't succeed. When you get what you want, know what you need. When you feel so tired, but you can't sleep. Stuck in river Lights will guide you home And ignite your bones And I will try to fix you What was your hope for Sally in that performance? Well, this was a very scary song for you to sing, not because of the, how big it is of a hit, it's because of the emotion you have to connect to it. And um, I'm really proud of you. It was really powerful and, and moving. And I think everyone in this room has still got goosebumps. And, and we're glad your mom's here. And it's amazing Woo! that you were able to sing for her. We are one performance away from the grand finale. Grand finale. I can't be having poor vocal performances. I want to make it to the grand finale. I know you want to win. Yeah. I know you want to fight for this. Sally's challenge this week is to overcome self-confidence. Self-doubt is a lie. You start believing lies about yourself or about the performance, maybe moments that have gone wrong in the past that come back to haunt you. Mm -hmm. What's the lie you think you believe in that moment? I guess that I'm not, you know, good enough to be where I am. But you are. You're here. Thanks, Nick. And you've made it to this level because you care deeply. Yeah. And so with that, you should have that confidence and that, that ability to walk in and know, all right, I'm going to attack this the way I want to. I'm going to sing every bit the way I want to. And everything's going to work in my favor. Life is happening for me, not to me. Yeah. So the song I chose for you this week is Life on Mars by David Bowie. George has him tattooed on him. If we don't do this justice, the first person to probably raise their hand is going to be George. For sure. And I can't protect you from George. No. <laughs> And her daddy has told her to go. 
You have to attack this like you know it's the last few seconds of this song. You have to prove to everyone that you deserve to be here. Like, you're gonna lay it all out, mm. you know? Yeah, that's good. How do you feel about that? Better now that I've spoken to you and, you know, received some really great wisdom about letting it go, because I feel like now that's what I have to do. She said great wisdom. She looked at me. Just, no, she did. From both of you. I was like this. <laughs> A god of a small affair To the girl with the mousy hair But her mommy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go But her friend is nowhere to be seen As she walks through her sunken dream To the seat with the clearest view She's hooked to the silver screen But the film is a saddening bore For she's lived it ten times or more And she could spit in the eyes of fools As they ask her to focus on sailors Fighting in the dance hall It's the freakiest show Take a look at the law oh, man He's beating up the wrong guy Oh man, I wonder if he'll ever know He's in the best-selling show Is the Lord one more? You came back from last year where you almost went to the lives, and here you are at the semifinals. You've done so well, yeah. and I'm so proud of you. And, and you know what? Like, we, we, we had a little bit of arguments about going in that register where you really had to push it. But ultimately, talking backstage, you're like, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to do it for me. And that's what you needed to do. And I, I just couldn't be happier because this is a song where I was really nervous. This is it's one of the biggest songs. It's one of my favorite songs. Definitely one of George's favorite songs. So, so it could have gone south, but luckily you brought it home. Well done. The third artist leaving the competition right now from Team Joe. It's Sally. <laughs> Sally, you have come so far. You should be nothing but proud.